What's up you guys, Nea Sam here, and this isn't going to be a very normal video. But I kind of wanted to discuss something that's been bugging me about Shaman. Something that I've been complaining about since early beta, and many other Shamans have discussed. And it's at the point now where I just made a very disturbing discovery that could completely, like, it could make this spec, like, the clunkiest spec in the game to perform optimally, optimally at. So I kind of wanted to go over that in hopes that maybe Blizzard will see the light and change it. So without further ado, let's discuss some, some, uh, it's gonna say a bad word, some, some bad things. So when I wasn't very geared, I did a lot of testing with Earthquake and Earth Shock, so I could make my Legion Guide that I have on my channel. And I, at the time, dropping two earthquakes on two targets did slightly less damage than one earth shock which is about where it should be because ideally your main AoE probably shouldn't be going out on less than three targets and someone asked me saying that since earthquake scales with haste do you think maybe now that we're a little more geared we should be dropping it on two targets <clears throat> so I did my normal little math thing that I do and I casted some spells and I got to 100 maelstrom and I decided to cast an earth shock and did the little math and stuff I calculated the crit chance and even to give it the benefit of the doubt sorry for the buzz I calculated even having this trait maxed out at 12 percent and the average earth shock was about 469,280 damage at my 866 eye level and then I decided to do an Earthquake, and 150 Maelstrom Earthquake, and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that Earthshock would be at 100 Maelstrom, 150 Maelstrom Earthquake was 255,000 damage on one target, so that means that two Earthquakes, equaling out to the same amount of Maelstrom spent as one Earthshock, is about 510,000 damage, which is a about 40,000 damage more than an Earth Shock. And that's on one target. So that's a little weird. I decided to sim it, took off my legendary because my legendary refunding Earth Shock would obviously skew that a little bit. And my sim said that dropping Earthquake instead of Earth Shock on one target was only a 1,000 DPS decrease, and that's only because of the additional globals. Obviously, this isn't very practical because. The boss moving it all could completely devalue your earthquake, but that's still kind of absurd. So I did some more math and discovered that, well, I kind of wanted to see just how underwhelming an earth shock was for something that takes approximately 10 spells to get. And that's not including the fact that you have to redot and stuff. But earth shock, as I said earlier, is about 469,000. One lava burst if it overloads is 461,000. So one overloaded lava burst is 8,000 damage less than your what is supposed to be your nuke. And that lava burst <coughs> always crits and the 469,000 damage is assuming that it like has a chance to crit. It's calculating in the chance to crit. So uh, for science here, I'm going to go ahead and spec Ascendance for a moment, and we're going to see how much one Lava Burst from Ascendance hits for. So 373k without, a lo without, an, over yeah, without an overload. Yep, 373k without an overload. That is more than a non-crit Earthshock, which is a little weird. So the only reason you're using Earthshock in Ascendance for the hopes that it crits. It sucks that it crit there because I wanted to show it. But it usually non-crits for about 320k. Anyways, I, after making this discovery, I decided I would go post it on the forums and see what other people had to say about it, see if anyone else could think of anything. If, if maybe this is a bug, was there like a, an unseen buff to Earthquake or something? And turns out, a guy in the forum named Omajarn, he decided to uh, do some simming and added some extra haste. And with additional haste, it's it's actually a DPS increase to drop Earthquake instead of Earthshock on single target. We went even further than that. 
Sodozai on the forums, Sadozai, I think is actually how it's pronounced, he or she decided to look further into Sims right now without additional haste at their like 870-ish eye level. And according to Sims, it's actually a DPS increase to use Earthquake single target during Bloodlust, or even just Elemental Mastery. And I don't... I, I'm kind of speechless. I, I could not imagine playing a spec where your main, like, resource dump on single target is also your AoE one because the single target one is just so bad. Obviously, again, it's not really practical in most situations to be using Earthquake single target because the boss could move. If the boss moves like 8 yards, you're just kind of screwed. Your entire spell that you just use is gone. But still, that's, that's, I don't even, I can't even, can't even think it's so absurd. So maybe sometime a night hold, if there's like a stationary boss, you could actually justify using Earthquake over Earthshock. You could literally never use Earthshock. For me, that'll probably never be a reality because of my legendary. It gives another 30% chance to refund Earthshock, which, if Earthquake managed to overtake that, that would, that would, I just... I don't even want to talk about that, uh, but maybe now that we have evidence that Earthquake may actually overtake Earthshock without a legendary, maybe now Blizzard will listen and buff Earthquake a little bit, or not buff, not Earthquake, please don't buff Earthquake, buff Earthshock a little bit, and in case someone from Blizzard is actually wa watching or other people wanted to like pass on ideas, I actually came up and I've been thinking about this for a long time. I found I thought of something that I think would make Earthshock and another underlying problem of Elemental being the mastery both at the same time we could we could increase it both and like fix two big problems. So let's look at the mastery, right? So your lightning bolts, chain lightning, and Loveverse cast have a forty or have a thirty four percent chance to trigger a second cast on the same target for seventy four or seventy five percent of normal damage and most of generation. So my suggestion is that on top of this, your damage of Earthshock is also increased by whatever your percent is. I don't think this would be like super OP or anything since Earthshock really isn't that big of a percent of percentage of our damage. But I do think it would definitely not it would definitely prevent the what's happening right now, I guess. I don't really know what to call it, I don't know the word for it. It would definitely prevent using Earthquake on single target. And it would also make Mastery a much better stat. So maybe it isn't literally 25% below the next best stat. Because right now it's it's like a dead stat almost. It's pretty bad. I mean, I don't really... I, don't, I can't think of anything else to add to this. I think I kind of said everything that needs to be said. Hopefully Blizzard will notice or people will pass on the information. Because this is kind of absurd. So I guess thanks for watching, and if you like this idea, then try and, like, pass it on to Blizzard, and again, I wouldn't suggest right now, even during Bloodlust, I would not suggest using Earthquake single target just because of the nature of Earthquake, but this could be a reality in the near future, in, like, Nighthold or even, like, the 7.1 raid, but I think I've gone on enough, I've, I've, I think I've summarized everything too many times already, so thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully this gets changed soon because this is just, this is crazy.